Okay, I thought I would do a real quick workout. This is for sh shoulders, thighs, and tries. As you can see, I'm in my living room. I have some dumbbells here that I chose. Pick a weight you're comfortable with. You can also use some real lightweight ones or some bands. This exercise I'm following the P90X uh, Tony Horton workout right now. There's some upright rows. Oh. Want us to pick a number? I'm going to do 20 right now. Try to keep my form. I got a weight I'm comfortable with. Two, three, four. You can join me if you want. Seven. I'm going for twenty. Keep your back straight. There's 20. Do some ballistic stretching, keep everything loose. That exercise really helps with your shoulders and upper back. <laughs> okay, these are called static arm curls. Might want to go with a little lighter weight. <clears throat> Oh, so what you do is hold one here, one, two, three, four, now this one isolates, two, three, four, oh. I'll fight to keep it right there. That's 16. Whew. All right. These I'm going real light with. You like your tricep kickbacks, which are like that. Boom. Boom. These are a little different. These are twist grip kickbacks. So what we're doing is one, my palms are up, two, my palms are down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I want to fight to keep those elbows in the same spot without moving. That really isolates your triceps. Twenty. I did twenty at a lighter weight. If you want to go, once you get good at it, you want to add a heavier weight. You do you do that? Just go with eight to ten. And that really isolates that tricep muscle. Keep them arms moving. It gives you a little bit of break. You get a little bit of break in between. Just enough just to get some blood going again. Alright, got one more set. You can do this at home, something real quick in your living room. I believe in just trying to do something. Keep, keep our bodies moving. 
seated shoulder flies. So hopefully you can see me. Got my old chair. Ah. Dumbbells. <laughs> All right, so these are tough. Basically, boom. And then you're leaning forward, boom. And then bring it back up, boom. So you want to pick a weight that you're comfortable with. So, here we go. Ready? Boom. Lean forward. Two. Three. That's 12. That's a heavier weight for me. Those are 25 pounds, so if you can do more, do more. If 8 is too much, stop at 8. It's a tough exercise, but that really makes that shoulder pop out. Okay, these are called two more exercises. These are called crouching, crouching Cohen curls. All right. <laughs> so, again, pick out your weight. Get a number in your head. Are you 8 to 10? 8 to 10 is you're trying to build some size. You go 12 to 16, even 20. You're trying to really rip and cut. All right. With this, make sure you can see me. Boom. Knees are just inside, or elbows are just inside the knees. I'm kind of down like this. Hopefully, you can see me. Boom! I'm just bring them up. Two. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. I'm going sixteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. All right. One more exercise. I'm waiting for them to finish. Keeping my Arms moving. To do these pot stirs. <laughs> All right. If you need water, you need to take a break. Definitely do that. You can always push, pause, and then come back. This is our last exercise, lying down, tricep extensions. I like to call them headbangers because if you miss, you're going to bang your head here. So, I don't know if you can see me on the ground. That might do it. All right, yeah, you got me. There we go. All right, here we go, go up. Bam. Boom. There's oh, 20 there with the triceps. All right, clock says 9.45, so that was <laughs> six exercises, 10 minutes, 10 minute workout. If you want to get your shoulders and your arms ready for the beach, 
It's a real quick, easy way to do it. Thanks for working out with me. See you again.